just because we're older women, yes, I'm an older woman, it doesn't mean that we want to stick with the same thing that we've done for the last 20, 25 years of our life. In today's video, I'll be talking about Trend Alert by Gabor in her luxury series in the color GF5660, right here, right now, on Silver Linings. This gorgeous piece was sent to me for review by Wig Studio One. So thank you, Wig Studio One, for sending this to me. She really is a modern take on a traditional style called a bob. But you can see how Gabor has now updated this bob. She's given her some edgy waves, some layering. I'll do a spin for you in a little bit. And the cap reveal later on in the video. But I just have to say the color I am, if you follow me, you know that I'm all about color. And this color, if you're looking for a lot of white in your wig without having it be all white, I think you'll be very, very happy with this combination of colors that Gabor just put together. Now let's talk about a little bit of the uh, style that we're seeing here. Now I almost, when I took it out of the box and put it on my head, um, see these little flippy do thingies and I'm telling you this because if you love this wig and you and you want to purchase it sometimes things happen in transit in the box <laughs> I don't know what those hairs are doing in there but <laughs> sometimes things happen in the box and it comes to you with this sticking out that sticking out I haven't done anything to the fibers but I am going to at some point um, style her so that I want to keep the the edginess to the waves and I want to keep the waves some of them are going in a direction and doing weird things that I may not necessarily like however having said that they may relax and just go where they're supposed to go without me doing anything so I decided not to touch the wig at all and just wear her as she is but oh my goodness look at this gorgeous let's talk about uh, some of the specifications she has a beautiful she has an absolutely gorgeous lace front now let me see if I can get up close for you so you could see that yes I can feel I can feel it right there you can see some of it but you really have to be so close there's my widow my widow's peak right there just beautifully, beautifully done. And the lace front comes right down to the ear tab. So almost to the edges of your eyebrow. So that's going to create a very, very realistic, very realistic profile. Now I can, I could if I wanted to, pull my hair out, except that my hair is very long right now. And so I probably wouldn't do that, but certainly I'm not concerned about if the wind should blow or anything like that. She has this gorgeous, gorgeous sweep of a bang here. So if you wanted to pull this bang down and have more of um, more of that little wave in the front, you certainly could do that. Honestly, I have watched several of my wig sisters review this wig. It's a very, very popular style right now. And so you could kind of have it go like that. I'd have to work with it a little bit more. I can't see everything is backwards. So I'd have to work with it a little bit more if I wanted to keep that. But this reminds me a little bit of um, Amaretto by Beltras. Um, just how her layers are, except that it's shorter, which is wonderful. It's still winter. If you're a skier, this isn't going to hit your, it's not going to hit any of your jackets or sweaters or anything like that. So just a really wonderful option for anyone who's out there and busy and active and all that. The more I look at this wig, the more I like it. And just being honest, when I first took her out of the box and put her on my head, I thought, oh no, I'm not sure I'm going to like it. But I can see what all the reviewers are saying is absolutely true. She has this beautiful monofilament piece in here, you know, that's going to give you wonderful partings. Now, I part my hair on the left and it falls to the right. So for me, wigs that are parted that way, it's just perfect for me. 
Um, but if you wanted to change change the parting a little bit, you've got about, and again, you'll, I'll show that to you later in the cap. You've got about an inch, maybe even a little bit more, to work with. Very, lib very liberal, and that parting goes all the way, all the way back. So style-wise, uh, color-wise, fabulous. She's got this true, what they call true to life fiber and it really is true to life i mean i'm looking at it i'm i'm touching it i tell you i had a really hard time with my lighting with this one um because there's so much white in it it was very difficult to get the camera to focus the way i wanted i wanted it to focus so i have this gray isn't this odd i put gray on and look what happens to the color It does change the color on my skin, but that's not what I'm looking at. It just, the wig, you can see the colors so much better when I have this gray. Now, normally, I have heard, this is just a, a I'm going to digress for a second. Normally, we've heard that if you uh, have gray hair, you shouldn't wear gray. And you know something? I'm not sure that I agree with that, because when I put this piece of gray, this is a pillowcase, <laughs> when I put this gray on, all of a sudden the wig just popped. So I think, this could be a video, but I think that if you've got some gray with some sparkle in it, see this is not a flat gray, this is a silky kind of a gray, I think that you could get away with it. And uh, But it just really made this wig pop. So for those of you who think you can't wear gray, I see it another way. She has that beautiful monofilament top, partial monofilament, I should say. Now, if you wanted to pull the hair up and away from your forehead, it absolutely will stay like that. It's not going to fall into your face. It's just a beautifully done, beautifully done cap. And then this piece here, again, if you wanted to have it more of a traditional bob, then you certainly could do that. I'm going to keep this up here because I want you to see the color the way it is. And then look at look at the beautiful... So it's not your typical bob, you know, with the with the with the uh, curves around the face. It's just modern. And just because we're older women, yes, I'm an older woman, um, it doesn't mean that we want to stick with the same thing that we've done for the last 20, 25 years of our life. So I think that this is the best of both worlds. I think that you get the the uh, the bob feel. Again, if you wanted to, if you wanted to um, have more of that smooth, s smooth look, you could get yourself a um, a brush. Make sure uh, that you don't put too high of a heat on it. I wouldn't go over 300, and style her the way you want to style her. But before I take that brush to her, I'm going to wash it. And I'm going to see where those fibers want to lay. I think that she has a little bit of box hair because when I see these tendril-like things here, I think that that's what she wants to do. I think that's the direction it wants to go. And she just had a, had a fight with some of the other hair fibers in the box. So <laughs> that is what I think. But you can get some volume if you want to put some more volume in there there is some t some permities in and around the crown not too much she's not um, super dense or too much hair she's not too little hair I think that she's just right she looks believable she just looks like you have a healthy head of hair again her fibers are true to life fibers and the cap size is average. Now, I will say, I did hear Taz um, say, because I watched Taz's review, great review, Taz, um, and Taz said that it fit really average. Now, on me, I can already feel that 
the back, um, it is riding up a bit. However, every single wig that I have, as I've said before, rides up on me. And so when I wear this wig, and I will wear her, when I wear this wig, I will take some bobby pins and crisscross them at the nape of the wig just above my ponytail because I've got the ponytail underneath the wig. And usually that, that really does help. I also, just so you know, I put some It Stays right up here at the hairline. And actually, I put the, I put the It Stays all the way down to the ear tab. And so you see, I can do this, you know, like you normally would do with your hair and if it's in my eyes or whatever. And it's not going to ride back on my head. So, but it does seem to want to naturally fall just kind of like that. And, but as I said, you could... If you like it up like that and you want to show your forehead, you could do that. If you wanted to tuck it behind your ear, you certainly could do that. She's tuckable. She's not so thick that you can't get it behind your ear. But I kind of like it just, just the way it comes. Just showing those, those gorgeous, those gorgeous waves. I'm in New York, so it's winter here, and uh, I did take some pictures um, outside on my deck um, and some in the living room in full sun, so you'll be able to see that. But how how wonderful. It's nice to see Gabor um, kind of upping their game, modernizing their collections for those of us who just want something a little, little bit more modern. And I think that they've accomplished it. So again, this uh, this cap size is average, but she is going to be, in my opinion, a true average. If you're if you're running large, she's going to be a little tight, not uncomfortably so, but she is going to be a little tight. Now I know that the more we wear the wig, it will stretch out a little bit. She does have the true to life fibers. She weighs about three and a half ounces. She's very light on the head. It's not. Uh, it's not uncomfortable to wear. But truly the thing right now that I'm loving about this the most is the color. The color, the cut, and just the fact that she she has that modern edge to her. It's another color for us gray-haired since I specialize in silver gray and white wigs. Let me share my screen with you. She does come in this Arctic white. Arctic white. So I recently purchased Own the Room. Here she is. You probably saw her on my table back there. And she's in that Arctic white. So there's a difference between 56, 60 and the Arctic White. 5660 Silver and the Arctic White. If you see them in person, both beautiful. Absolutely beautiful colors. So again, my silver sisters, my silver gray white haired sisters, if you like a lot of white but you don't want it to be flat, flat white or looking costumey, these are your beautiful silver gray colors. Gabor has nailed it. So let me know what you think. Do you love the color? This is exactly how it looks in person. I worked very, very hard to show you what I see in my, in my mirror. So I hope that I accomplished that. Let me take this gray down again and see how it changes. See, when I take the, uh, the gray off, what happens? I'm not a lighting expert. Most of us didn't start reviewing wigs knowing that we'd have to understand about lighting. But it really does make a big difference. You see what I'm saying there? What a difference just by gray. Lots of wefting for coolness. 
Also, I love wefting because if you're going to push a barrette in there, it kind of holds the wig even better. Better secured wig. Now, the mono top is not a full mono top. It has a partial mono top. So what that means is any place that you see that mono fabric, that is where you're going to be able to part your hair and it'll look like scalp coming right out of that area of the wig. Okay, turning her around, she has a covered nape, not an extended nape, but a covered nape. She's got Velcro adjusters, which I love on both sides. She has uh, the covered, the felt covered ear tabs with the wire stay inside. Let me see if she's got a wire on the nape. She does not have a wire on the nape. And of course the label. A tip I just heard from someone and I think it's it's common sense but I guess we don't think of it is sometimes you get confused about what wig is what wig if it's not in the box. Just take a permanent marker and somewhere on one of these labels write down the name of the wig and who it's by. That's it. And then you'll always know as long as it's an it's a permanent marker, indelible, right? Okay, let's see. What else we have is that beautiful extended lace front. It's going from temple to temple, right there. Beautiful lace front from temple to temple. Again, around in the back, she has tufts of hair coming out for a very realistic look at the bottom of or the nape of the neck. And the other thing, let's see, is there anything else I want to point out to you? Permatease? Um, maybe a tad. If there is any, not too much. I'll read the specs and see if it mentions permatease. But there she is, the inside of the cap. Of course, I thought before I head out that I, I should show you what, what uh, trend alert looks like with a hairband. We always like to put our hairbands in. Oh, she looks gorgeous with this one. Really cute. Yes, I just want to take the, the, the roller to her and see if I can get those to stop sticking out. <laughs> I'm sure I can do it. Well, let's see how she looks with a barrette. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day or week or night whenever it is that you're viewing this video. I so appreciate you coming by to spend some time with me and remember to always look for the silver linings. Sometimes they're hard to find but they're always there. See you next time.